Let's say you have purchased a domain. Now you want to point your domain into a VPS server or a dedicated server or whatever server or IP it is. There are five steps to do that. All you need to log in into your domain control panel and find your domain name. Here for example, I have purchased a domain from Namecheap. So I am going to log in into my Namecheap control panel. After login, normally all the domain shows in the dashboard. As you can see my domain is showing up here in the list. So now we are going to manage the DNS or domain name server record of this domain. To do so, click on the manage button and this will redirect the domain setting space. You will see all the domain related settings on that page. The advanced DNS settings. Find that, click on that link. In some other control panel, the button may be named like DNS settings or some other things. So you will need to search and find the DNS settings. In the DNS settings page, there might have some other configurations. For the moment, ignore all of that. Now you need to add a record to say that the domain point to your server IP address. To do so, you need to add an A record having the host of at sign. In the value, copy and paste your server IP address. I also want to add an alias for www and that's it. So from now, when someone hit your domain, they will redirect to your server IP address. But sometimes it takes a while to propagate these changes to all the DNS server around the world. And sometimes it takes only few minutes. So let's get into the step 2. In this step, you need to create a directory for this domain into your web server. To do so, log in into your VPS or dedicated server using SSH. I assume that you already have set up your web server into your VPS or your server. If not, then please do that first because it is very simple to install the web server. I am on a Linux OS having Apache as my web server. And my web root directory is var www. As you might have already known that you can have multiple websites in a VPS or dedicated server and that means you can add as many domain as you need. So you need to create directory to differentiate the files for a particular domain. So I am going to create a directory for my newly pointed domain. I named it as same as my domain jimmy.com. So that will help me to find easily in the future. On that directory, I want to create another directory public HTML to store all my website related files. You can create these two directories using a single command. For that, you need to add an option minus P followed by the MKDIR in Linux. After creating the directory, it is very important to change the ownership of the directory. You can set ownership for the current user using this command. I recommend you not to use the root user for any domain. You can create a new non-root user and set the ownership to that user. After that, you need to change the directory redirect permissions using chmod command recursively using an option minus capital R. But please do not set it to triple seven because that might cause security issues. If you know that what you are going to do, then it's okay. We have already created the directory where all of our files related to this domain will be placed. But for now, there is nothing there. So if you have already created your website, then you can upload those files into this directory. In my case, I'm going to create an HTML file having one or two lines, right? So I type nano to index.html Then I copy and paste some of my previously written code. Nothing complex there. It is as simple as writing one or two lines to test. 
then save the file by pressing Ctrl O and then enter to save it. So far we have pointed our domain to our server IP and we have created a directory where all of our files will be placed. But the thing is we can have multiple websites redirected to our server. So you need to set some configurations where you link between your domain and the directory for that particular domain. It can be done by creating a virtual host. In Apache Web Server, there is already a configuration file available named 000-default.conf. You can copy that file and name it as like as your domain name followed by .conf. In my case, I am copying one of my previously created conf file. You only need to focus few lines of this configuration file. After copy, open the file to modify using nano. Let's first change the server name to your domain name. Then you can add your email as server admin. Then change the directory as like as you have created for your domain. In my case, it is bar www.jimmim.com public html. And finally, you can add an alias for the domain. Now save the file and exit from editing. If everything sets up well, then now you only need a line of command to execute and you can see your domain live. Hope everything went well and this video was helpful for you. If you face any difficulties then feel free to let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching.